Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Conservation Diaries. We started off this week with an awesome sighting of LM1 close to HQ. There seems to be yet another power shift in the lives of LM1 and LM2, as LM1 was seen hanging around with LF4 and LF5. Here are the two females in question. LF4 was seen hanging around with LM2 last week, where they were actually mating. This leads us to believe that possibly LM1 might be getting a bit frustrated with being left on the sidelines. Last week, LM1 moved past the lodge, roaring his heart out. This, combined with the fact that LM1 was seen with the females, and the fact that LM2 was nowhere to be seen, leads us to believe that a bit of a power shift could be in order. Some interesting times in the lives of the lion population. Who doesn't like a regular update on the new little fluff balls of Lapalala? Hopewell, who by now is a very experienced mother, having raised one cub to adulthood, is proving to be a very effective mother with these three youngsters. She recently killed an impala very close to HQ. The cubs are still quite skittish, and this became evident when a couple of jackal moved into the area. Jackals, with their strong sense of smell, had obviously realized that Hopal had made a kill, and they were hanging around in the vicinity waiting for her to move on. The cubs didn't like this, and every now and then they would run off. It doesn't always happen like this, but every now and then the animals like to make our lives a lot easier by making an appearance at the lodge. These two elephant bulls stopped by for a drink of water, and then followed that up by a bit of pruning of the vegetation in front of the lodge. Let's just say they were a bit heavy handed with the amount of vegetation they decided to eat. Elephants will quite regularly pull down entire limbs or actually entire trees themselves, which was the case in this instance. It's not often we see the whole pride together. In this instance, we had LF4, LF5, LF3, the six youngsters, as well as LM2, which you will see in the next frame. You know what they say, there's nothing quite like a wildebeest kill to get the whole family together. As they usually do, LM2 was guarding the kill. He had clearly eaten his fill, which must have been a quite a big wildebeest, as the pride had eaten quite a lot as well. This is not uncommon for lions, as what they usually will do is move a little bit away from the carcass and spend their time cleaning themselves, as well as allowing for digestion to take place. LM2 was clearly in the mood for seconds, as he hadn't moved far away from the carcass itself. And just like that, another brief appearance by the new addition to the Touchstone Herd. At about a month in age, this little youngster will still be drinking milk from mom, and as you can see, the rest of the herd is very protective of the new little youngster. Female elephants actually have their mammary glands located between the front legs and the pectoral muscles. Because the calf is actually quite tall when it's born, this will allow easy access for the youngster to drink milk. We were all very excited here at Tinswalu, as we had a bit of a shy and curious visitor to our lodge. This was a very cool sighting for all that were there. It is usually not a common sighting here on Lapalala, hence all the excitement. If you have an idea what this special animal is, please leave a comment down below. Just an elephant bull doing his bit to help stop traffic flow here on Founders Main. So from all of us here at Tinswalo where conservation never stops, we'll catch you all next time.